crazy son of a bitch, but I don't know for your name. Uh -huh. I know it's dangerous, so y'all be careful. Please welcome from Memphis, Tennessee. Very funny, Mr. Josh McLean. Come on, Josh. Sorry, I get angry sometimes. 
But you, you replace me. Don't do drugs anymore. You know what I do now? Reality television. <laughs> I fucking love the bullshit of reality television. Because we know it's all crap. We know it's all bullshit. There's a reason they put seven bad girls in the bad girls club. So two of them will fuck and six of them will fight. There's a reason. It's mad. It's mad. <laughs> but I have this problem with reality show violence. Like there are other shows, like there's a show on TV called Swamp People. One of the coolest fucking shows ever fucking made. Oh my god! Shoot it! 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 I'd like to think that would. Wouldn't you think that would get some fucking ratings? Oh, yeah. I'd like to think that would. Publicity. I have one last thing for you before I get out of here. Right? Yeah. Or, yeah, you done? Okay, I can respect that. I can respect that. So, I, you know, I am extremely tight with my family. I think it's something really fucking important. Nowadays, the things are getting lost. <laughs> uh, I, my grandparents are some of the coolest fucking people that have ever walked the face here. My grandfather, God rest his soul, was one of the drinkiest, most ass-kickest motherfuckers that ever walked the face <laughs> He was a real son of a bitch in a good kind of way. And my grandmother, she always liked to take care of me now that he's gone. Now I'm not here, he's the fucking raised like that. I have a goddamn job. But every year around Christmas, she always comes up and she's like, honey, have you gotten anybody's presents you need to? Is there anybody who's forgotten? Did you get your mom one? Did you get your sister one? And I'd be like, fuck! I forgot! Grandma, I didn't get Sarah one! She goes, let's go to Target right now and get her one. Again, she doesn't pay for shit. She just makes her remind me. So we go, go to Target, I get my sister something, we get my girlfriend something else. We end up getting something for my mom something else. It's my grandmother's idea. She's so much fucking smarter than me, it's not even funny. Afterwards, we leave Target. Party. She's sitting in the car with me. She's like, "Sweetie, I'm really proud of you. You really, you really become to be a, a pretty decent man. You know, even if you do have two sleeves and tattoos like a moron. You know, you, you really do good. I'm pretty proud of you. Would you like me to go? Would you like a comic book at the store across the street? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I want a comic book. That's awesome. My grandmother still knows me. So we go across the street. That's the comic book collectible. If you're over there, I reckon you should check it out. Thanks, man. We're up there. I come out, I got my comic. We're pulling out on the street. It's one of those streets you have both traffic going both ways, right? We need to make a left. This is not the easiest of streets to make a left on. It's always kind of frustrating. We all know this fucking street. There's one right on the goddamn door right there. We're sitting there, we're behind this fucking little Hyundai thing. This guy up there, and he won't turn. Light turns down the end, it's clear. This guy won't fucking turn. Light turns again. Guy, what the fucking turn? And if I was driving, I'd be slamming on the fucking horn, screaming all kinds of bloody murder. My grandmother, very gently, very softly, eh. <laughs> serious. this fucking motherfucker comes out of his car, screaming at her. This asshole is in the middle hey. of the fucking center, and he's wearing a white beard and a visor on backwards. Why would you wear a visor on backwards? He's got his visor on back, he's coming over, he's cussing my grandmother. Nobody. Nobody fucking cussing my grandmother. Fucking nobody. He comes over, he starts calling his shit, calling all these fucking names, and I am not going to repeat, even though I've said under one of them on my set. He comes over, he's cussing, and I'm like, literally hands on the door, and I'm about to walk out and find this guy, but it ain't just fucking walk. My grandmother again. Honey, settle down. Granny hat. She <laughs> into her purse. She goes into her and pulls out a 38 snub nose. <laughs> that I never knew she had! Now, what do you think? The fact that she's had a gun for that long means my grandfather was one lucky motherfucker. <laughs> she pulls out the pistol. The guy comes up to her side. He's still cussing her, being on a window. She rolls the window down. This much. <laughs> puts the pistol out the door. And says, honey, if you don't calm down, they're going to be cleaning your brains off the fucking sidewalk. <laughs>